stay to God is the reason. This is plain Jane season. Fresh up off the plane in Japan, I ain't leaving. They say seeing is believing. Well, here's a briefcase with a million dollars even. This all week, no days off. This hard work gon' pay y'all. I made myself a promise young. I would never work a day job, put it in the safe. Never know when I'm gonna need that. Came here with my gang, you don't know where your homies at. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies, just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. Today, we've got a week five matchup in store here, as it'll be the Aviators of Melbourne taking on the Denver Broncos. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. He finds his man complete. That's Ford. Short completion, just four yards, and it brings up third and five now. When you look at this defense, and they played well against the pass, currently ranked seventh in the NFL. Yeah, defending the pass hasn't been an issue for them. It's been stopping the run. And if they don't stop the run, they can't get back to their strength, which is guarding against the air attack. Here's Duggan to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 36 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Completes it to the fullback, Ham. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. The Broncos at a perfect 4-0 to start the campaign. And they've been playing their best football of the year, winners of four in a row. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. To throw is Duggan. Brickhitter here, it's complete. They'll give him four yards there. Third and seven now. Well, safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now 4-4, four four, but might need to be 5-5 five five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because 4-4 four four already, I think he's got a good chance of picking this one up here on third down. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. And his kick is indeed good. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard. It's three zip. Had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. Yeah, one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that, those explosives that we talk about. That allowed them to put points on the board on that drive. Let's see how the rest of the game goes.
And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. This defense for the Broncos, they were terrific a week ago in that victory over Tampa Bay, Charles. And how'd you like to be the quarterback reviewing the game tape from last week and seeing this defense on the spot on almost every snap? If the ball was in the air, they took it away. If the ball was top three, they picked it up. Five takeaways in last week's game. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. He'll let one go deep for Downs. And unable to connect. Incomplete. And give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Tommy Townsend on the punt. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Taken right around the 44. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Duggan will look to throw this. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. That time he was looking for Jerry Judy. That'll bring up second down. But you look at this defense. And they played well against the pass. Currently ranked seventh in the NFL. You have to like the way that they've played in the first month. They have to be very proud being a top ten unit against the pass. Their goal, though, in this one, is see if they can improve that ranking. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing, Duggan. came into this game eager to see how they would hold up in man coverage and on that play they held up quite well the Broncos send out their punter now as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt he'll send this one into the mile high air and it's a good one this is taken around the 12 31 yards on the punt there and the offense will come back out deep in their own territory The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. The tackle made there by Drew Sanders. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Looking to throw is Mahomes. His throw incomplete. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. Throwing is Mahomes on third. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 36. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. So they move from 136 over to the other as they come up on first down. Now a handoff up the middle. Goodson. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. A 
escapes the defender. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. 47 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Well, that's how you get right up off of the mat, because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit, because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very neck. And it's caught. Touchdown. Tyler Goodson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Aviators are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And a man out of the backfield gets in for the score. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Let's go now. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And brought down by Nazi Johnson. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Another toe for ETN. And the ball is knocked out. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Do you remember in preseason we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills and you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? You got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. And they'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Hey, Ripley, Ripley. Right back to him on first down. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Now Mahomes. And it's caught. Touchdown. Josh Downs. His first touchdown on the year. And the Aviators are able to extend their lead. So, Charles, they had him double covered in the end zone. It still was not enough. I wonder if they're thinking to themselves now, two didn't work. Do we go for three guys on him next time? Because he fought through all that extra attention, got himself into a great position where his quarterback felt confident enough to challenge the coverage, and threw it his way. What a big-time play right there, both by the quarterback trusting it and by him going up and getting it. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Ready up. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Now second and five. No, no. They'll try the left side with ETN. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 14 yards there and a Denver first down.
Duggan now to throw. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that will bring up second down. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. On second down, a run with ETN. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Boy, shifts past him. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes... ...yard touchdown. And the Broncos have got it back to within a score. And oh, it's blocked. Picked up by the offense. This is a live ball. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Yellow. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game, that time unable to find the completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. On second down now, Goodson. And he's got a first down following a pickup of about 13 as we will take a pause here for the two-minute warning. 111 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first down. Mahomes now on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Mahomes to throw on second down. Got an open man here. It's K.J. Hamler. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. York able to send this one through, and that'll push the lead up to eight. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board.
This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. But Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Second and 10. Duggan. He finds his man complete. That's four. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential, but when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. And now they'll shift things around. They'll run with ETN. Taking it right down Broadway. Travis Etienne. Score. Travis Etienne, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Broncos get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Andy Reid never one to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. They're going to try and run. And he is into the end zone again. So get him some oxygen. He scores on the long run and then punches in the two-point conversion for good measure. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as it kicks away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they've got a little under 40 seconds to go if they want to try to put something together here. He'll get this one to Kelsey. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. What a play that turns out to be. 36 yards. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. From midfield, here's Mahomes. He's going to air one out. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball. He could not hang on. Second down coming up. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it no one was. And again, it's Mahomes. Well, he's going to go for it all. And this one dropped in the end zone. Oh, looked like a touchdown, but not to be. And now it's fourth down. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. 
That allowed them to disrupt the play. Mahomes throwing on fourth. Flush to his right. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a fourth. Move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And this defense will take over right at midfield. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. A final shot before break. Dugan flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice game. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL. And it's a presentation of EA Sports. Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here and ready to get the party started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard now this will be returned from deep in the end zone and he returns this to the 22 the offense now at the line ready for their next drive this offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play? to really help out my team and break this streak of offense. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. He'll let one go deep for downs. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Two things you can do in that situation. Run and punt the football or try and take your shot at getting the first down. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. On is the punter, Townsend, as he gets this one away. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And now an audible here into something else. Duggan looking to throw. He'll get this out to the flat for ETM. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A gain of three. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's a second and seven. Off the play fake. Duggan. In trouble, and he's taken down. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fielded at the 20. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and that will come the offense as they take over. Yellow! 
The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll run on first down. Goodson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 119 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So on the ground, Goodson. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room. A little... Still understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that. To go. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Escaping the pressure right. And yeah, he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets him nine yards in a first. They run the counter. Goodson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Up the middle they go. Goodson. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. A gain of 13. It's a first down. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. That's going to be taken in by Downs. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Now Mahomes. And it's caught. Touchdown. Bo Melton from four yards out. And the Aviators have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. New York now for the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away.
And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. To throw once more on second and ten. Duggan out quickly to Judy. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. A throw there going to wind up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. Here's Duggan to throw. Screenplay. Here's ETN. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. He's had success running the football, and this is more or less an extension of that because they drop it off to him on the screen. And I'll bet he's thinking to himself, if I didn't have to slow up a bit here in traffic, I could have really made something out of that one. To throw is Duggan. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Marvin Mims, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. We are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about it. And now the kick is blocked. And the defense picks it up. But he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt. Unsuccessful. As you tell me all the time, Brandon, mark that play down. That should be a tie game. Instead, a great job by the guys blocking it. And, boy, they've got to have a great lift going off the field. And the further it happens in the game and here in the second half, it just gets more magnified. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Yellow. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. On second down, Goodson. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. 
but they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there and gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 156 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 44-yard line. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. He'll buy some time right. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking. That is intercepted, and the Broncos are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Let's go. Here's first and ten. Now ETN to start the drive. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. Not a bad game there, and it's okay to still run the football in this situation, but you got to be careful to not take too much time off the clock. Here's second down. And they'll go again with ETN. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Now third down and seven. He'll look to throw. Able to find Mims. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down so that's going to double their pleasure for sure they get the first and save a timeout well they got the yardage they needed there picked up the first down got out of bounds how about the urgency that they have as well as the understand where they are in the field Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Not liking the look. They'll change the play. On first and ten, it's ETN. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Now that is the two-minute drill at its very best. Get the completion, get a big chunk of yardage, and then get out of bounds to save those timeouts. You cannot do it any better than that. Straight ahead, ETN. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. I'm all surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. Now second and four. ETN up the middle. I think we saw the strategy there, how they moved it to the left hash. So they can line things up for them to kick the field goal. Now the timeout will be called, so they're in field goal range with three seconds left. All right, 
So this is certainly a tough test here in the early career of the rookie kicker. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. With three seconds to go, this for the win. His kick is good. And it'll be all smiles on Blake Street tonight. The Broncos have won it. We all just got.